Are you having the thought that a little bit of fatigue or bloatedness is no big deal? Or are you thinking that a little bit of shortness of breath is okay? So let us find out what happens if you choose to ignore these symptoms of qi deficiency as what I've mentioned in my previous video. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel from Oak Health and today I'll be sharing with you what happens when a person in the qi deficient state continues to ignore the symptoms and the state progresses on. So when this sub-health state progresses on, the person will enter into this state called the young deficiency. So before I go into the specifics of young deficiency, let me just share with you a little bit on the yin and the yang. Yin and yang, these two energies are energies that has to be balanced in the body. The yin can be viewed as the more cooling part of the body and the yang energy can be viewed as the more heated part of the fire of the body. So when one has yang deficiency, that means that the body enters into a very cooling state. And that shows up in many of the symptoms that I am going to elaborate in a while. So let's move on to what causes yang deficiency. There are four main causes of yang deficiency. First, hereditary predisposition or genetic factors. Second, excessive sexual intercourse. Three, prevalent chronic diseases that have not been treated on time. And last, excessive consumption of coal or cooling food. Examples of coal or cooling food includes watermelon, pear, coconut, ice drinks, and bubble tea. Let's take bubble tea for an example. Bubble tea is a favorite craze of today's society. When one is drinking bubble tea, tea, for example, is very cooling to the body. And for two, when you're drinking bubble tea, you usually drink it in ice form. So that contributes to the yang deficiency of the body further. Organs that are most affected by the yang deficient state includes the heart meridian, the spleen meridian, and the kidney meridian. So now, let's take a look at what symptoms can the body present itself with when you are yang deficient. If the yang deficiency occurs at the heart meridian, one can get things like palpitations, chest stuffiness, or insomnia. When yang deficiency occurs at the spleen meridian, one can experience a lack of appetite, a loose stools, but these loose stools usually come with cold abdomen, edema or swelling, and also extensive fatigue or lethargy, even more so than one would experience when one is qi deficient. So when yang deficiency occurs in the kidney meridian, which is the most common, one can experience cold hands or feet, excessive bed wetting, especially for those who are younger, constant lower back ache for no rhyme or reason, frequent night urination, and also infertility. And now, let me share a bit on what the tongue of a young deficient person can look like. It is mostly pale white, and the tongue is usually swollen. So definitely there will be teeth marks at the side of the tongue. Out of all the symptoms that I have mentioned, the more common ones or the more prominent ones include frequent lower back aches, constantly feeling cold even though you are in a warm environment, chest stuffiness or insomnia, and of course, very loose stools. So having known the symptoms and causes of young deficiency, let me share some health tips on what you can do on a day-to-day -day basis for you to get out of this young deficiency state. Things that you can do at home includes soaking your feet in warm water with ginger, especially at night. This helps in circulation of the yang energy and the qi around the body. An acupoint that you can massage to increase or to improve your yang deficient state includes the pai hui, which is shown here. How do you find the pai hui? It's very simple. Okay, you put two thumb at the tip of the ear and you go all the way up. Where the two middle finger meets, this is where your pai hui is. Thirdly, moxibustion. Moxibustion is an efficient tool when a person is in a young deficient state. But of course, I do not advise that you do this at home because there have been instances of burns when people are not careful with that. So what are some of the foods that you can take when you are in the young deficient state? First of all, red meat. For example, lamb or beef. These two are more warming to the body. And when taken in moderation, it can help to build up 
the young deficient state of the body. Second, dark green leafy vegetable. Dark green leafy vegetable has properties to help to boost up the qi and the yang energy of the body. Some of the common herbs that we as practitioners use to treat yang deficiency that you can obtain includes du zhong, rou gui, cinnamon, and huang qi. Definitely, this would not be enough if your yang deficient state is serious. So I would advise that those who are in this state to really seek professional advice. And last but not least, exercise is definitely one important part that you need to engage yourself in if you are in the qi deficient or yang deficient state. Because exercise improves the blood circulation and constant exercise throughout the week will allow the blood circulation of the body to increase and to improve the overall state of the person. Those of you who feel that you are in the yang deficient state, I wouldn't advise that you just kick it off because if you are in the yang deficient state, your health can be compromised if it's not treated promptly. So I would advise that if you are in this state, please do seek professional help soon so that we can help you to lift yourself off this yang deficient state which can lead to many other health conditions if not treated. So next up, having known what happens when your body enters into a yang deficient state, in my next video, I'll be sharing with you what happens when you are at the other spectrum, when your body enters the yin deficient state, making your body very heated up. Till then, I'm Gabriel from Oak Health and thank you for watching.